Over the past two decades, Fitson Healthcare PLC have established themselves as one of the leading players in the West African pharmaceutical industry. Basically, the global vision remains the same, uh, but for every year, of course, depending on circumstances and um, you know the economic environment, you tweak, you know, uh, the strategy that basically um, you know implements the global vision um, to suit the exigencies of the moment. So the vision remains the same. It is to be the um, you know number one pharmaceutical industry in Nigeria um, that provides value for its uh, shareholders. It all began early 1995, where Fitson started out as a local distributor of pharmaceutical products. By the summer of 2002, the company had set up their first local manufacturing facility, followed by a second facility in 2007. Today, Fitson boasts of over 12 acres of WHO certifiable manufacturing plants completely self-sustainable and energy sufficient. A facility of this magnitude brings so much to consider in the way of day-to-day -day operations. Having said that, we must first consider what the end goal was when the idea of building this factory was birthed. Well, a couple of uh, considerations when the idea to set up this uh, kind of facility uh, came to our minds. Uh, we looked at the terrain, that is the pharma manufacturing space, and we found out that uh, what obtained at that time wasn't something one can really be proud of as uh, the best the Nigerian pharmaceutical manufacturing industry could offer. Therefore, when we looked at the terrain then, uh, we couldn't really find any company that could proudly represent Nigeria in terms of uh, practices, in terms of structures, in terms of uh, even offerings, product offerings to the market. Therefore, we set out to put up a facility that would, one, be comparable to the best in the world, two, the one that can give our own people good quality medicines, just like any other people, especially in Europe and America, were able to get, three, to also upgrade the pharma industry for people to see us and be something that they look up to, something to emulate. Again, to also be uh, at the vanguard of expanding the uh, pharma space in terms of quality of structures, quality of services, quality of men, and quality of the products we are offering to the Nigerian market. At the helm of Fitson's performance and growth are dynamic and visionary leaders who steer the direction of the company's corporate cell. These leaders drive the ethos and culture of excellence in the organization and ultimately develop a platform that future leaders can build on. Of course, um, the, 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 the board is primarily responsible for where we have reached today because the superintendent over the the strategy. You know, they have oversight over management, right? And they are also the governors over, um, you know, the strategy of how we do business, direction, um, you know, fine tuning the vision, fine tuning the mission, and what have you. So they are responsible for all of the great achievements that we have today, whether it is the four factories that we have had in the past to the one single item um, that we call the biotech, which has subsumed the other three, four factories into one. Um, you know, whether it is um, expanding into, <clears throat> you know, the several business areas that we have gone into, into infusion, um, expansion um, nationwide, these are all thoughts um, from board members, you know, uh, and they have greatly enriched, you know, where we have reached. And, and, but more importantly, it is that they have played the role of ensuring um, 
that they are the custodian of value for the investing public. At the heart of the new facility is its utility room, the powerhouse of the Fitzsim factory. In an attempt to reduce the negative effects of emissions on the environment, in accordance with the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals on Environment, Fitzsim utilizes natural gas, which as a result, reduces the factory's emissions by as much as 50%. The compressed natural gas plant or CNG plant, powers the boilers, compressed air units, and the chillers, whilst allowing the factory to reduce their diesel output by as much as 50%. Having addressed the matter of power, the process of manufacturing begins with raw materials. A key element in the manufacturing process is the use of purified water. Unlike many factories in Nigeria, Fitzin Healthcare PLC can purify their water on-site with their water treatment plant. The main use for the purified water are for products such as eye drops, drips, and water for injection. Core manufacturing process starts from having good water. You must be able, we, we have our water processes in such a way that the water is coordinated online that is the process of disinfection from the borehole. Then it goes through what we call um, water treatment processes that start from softening the water. Then after softening the water, you pass the water through what we call reverse osmosis system. The reverse osmosis system removes every unwanted material from the water because our aim is to maintain sterility of the product up to the end user who is the patient in the hospital. All manufacturing plants must adhere to varying degrees of quality control. But when one considers the delicate nature of the products manufactured within a pharmaceutical facility and its potential impact on human life, the highest degree of quality control is required and must not be compromised. We have adopted the system that works for us and that's the quality management system. The system incorporates current good manufacturing practice as well as using WHO standard as a guide to the way we operate our processes. One thing about current good manufacturing practice is the fact that it evolves and as such the capacity of our staff also needs to evolve and what we do, we, we engage in constant training building in the capacity of our staff and we ensure that this is carried out as per requirement. Every product that is manufactured, that's why if I go through the stringent controls in manufacturing whereby quality has an overview, we also ensure that we carry out the needed analysis for such products to ensure that whatever comes out meets the standards, meets the requirement, is safe and it has its efficacy due to what it's intended for. With all the stringent processes in place, such as the production capacity of the factory, whereby without slacking on quality, they are able to meet the healthcare demands of the most populous nation in Africa. The liquid line, as of today, we can do about uh, 185 million bottles of 100 mil capacity per annum. That is how big the stock capacity of the liquid lines is on the tableting line we can do 2.8 billion tablets per annum on the cream line we can do about uh, 65 million tubes per annum the infusion line we have 60 million by 500 mil per annum uh, if you look at these four lines or five lines let me give you the interpretation of what the tableting line connotes if Fitzin alone were to be producing anti-malaria for Nigeria, it simply means that we have enough capacity to produce anti-malaria, especially the ACT, for this population, and that will only take us about two, three months to produce what the entire nation will consume in one year. Fitzin Healthcare PLC is endowed with a team of young, highly talented and motivated people from diverse educational backgrounds 
and different disciplines that form a highly resourceful personnel. Realizing that the future of the company is defined by the depth and scope of the minds of these young professionals, the company constantly commits considerable investments in human development and training. The next generation is taking over in, in finance, finance and accounts. Um, the next generation is taking over the supply chain. The next generation is taking over the HR department. Even sales and marketing, right? Uh, and the operations, which is the factory, have also been infused with um, young people in whom we are investing in their training. The main driver was ensuring that we had a business that would outlive the founding fathers, right? That will um, be a big player in the pharmaceutical manufacturing space. There are multinationals that have existed for 200 years, right? And I see a fit in existing for much longer than that. As a leading pharmaceutical manufacturing company, Fitson strives to add value to the lives of Nigerians through quality and affordable healthcare solutions. The company is continuously raising standards of the pharmaceutical market in West Africa through executing well-developed strategies. With these strategic directions, the company is consolidating its growth and on the verge of inscribing its footprint on the global pedestal. No be you, sharp, dedicated, hardworking. As you they move, go another day, and you won't make your life better. Now so hardborn and indigestion, they follow you up and down. Bah! As you they try show your guys, say better work day for hand, Jaburata. Now so indigestion and hardborn, they do you anyhow. Everybody sabi as indigestion and hardborn, fits scatter your matter. Now why gas call, they help come the pain where indigestion don't put for your body. <laughs> As you don't take gas call, hard bone and indigestion not fit near you. <laughs> gas call, Baba for the business. JP pays our salaries. Oh, me TJ. TJ, me Lola. Lola, me TJ. Okay, the handshake is a bit too long. TJ, please make sure Lola is well settled. Monday starts off well. New colleague and the two of you seem to hit it off. Tuesday continues in the same vein as Monday. Things seem to be moving along. Now Wednesday was a bit rough, but the two of you help each other get through the day. Unfortunately, it appears that Wednesday really took its toll on you. Because by Thursday morning, you have a nasty cold and cough. Now she can see that something is not right, but you try to keep it together. Unfortunately... <coughs> Fortunately for you, there's fast acting Tuxil for relief from cold and cough. Now, Friday is going to be great. Tuxil, the job gets done when the cough is gone.
Fedison Healthcare PLC is a leading pharmaceutical manufacturing company in Nigeria. Its seven-floor headquarters sits fine and dandy in the heart of Obanikuru along the ever-busy Ikorodu Expressway, Lagos. Founded in 1995 as a local distributor of pharmaceutical products, Fitson has positioned itself as the most preferred health care provider in sub-Saharan Africa, producing a wide range and class of pharmaceutical products for obstetrics and gynecology, vitamins and minerals, cardiovascular medicines, anti-infectives and anti-malarials, appetite stimulants as well as medicines for diseases of joints. Fitson has been meeting the healthcare demands of the Nigerian people for almost a quarter of a century. The goal is to be the number one pharmaceutical industry in Nigeria, saving lives as well as providing value for investors, despite the challenges of operating in a very tough economic environment. The MD CEO, Dr. Fidelis Ayebe, says the Bank of Industry is instrumental to their steady growth over the years. Fitting Pharmaceuticals is uh, today a manufacturer and distributor of over 250 brands of pharmaceutical you know, uh, products in this marketplace. We have big established brands like Cipotab, Astimane, uh, Tuxil, and all whatnot. We started in 1995 as a um, distributor of pharmaceutical products for multinationals and for importers, but then um, be, you know, developed our own brands in 1996. Um, since um, that time, we began to um, only sell our own products, and we uh, de-emphasized and de you know, discontinued um, distribution for multinationals. And we then grew from contract manufacturing our own brands from India into owning uh, our own factories in Nigeria. And since then, um, we have built um, three factories. And the one that we currently occupy is the largest um, pharmaceutical manufacturing plant in Nigeria uh, that has over seven lines. Um, you have liquids, tablets, capsules, dry powder. Um, you have uh, infusions, and um, you also have the ophthalmics, which is basically eye drops and um, ear drops. So basically, this is uh, who we are. When you're feeling sick, Tuxil <coughs> cough syrup, Tuxil <coughs> cough syrup provides relief. <coughs> provides relief from, <coughs> oh, we are take, take. Take fast acting Tuxil for relief from cold and cough. Are they okay? You don't chop. Oya mogo mogo. Tuxil cough syrup. The job gets done when the cough is gone. Yeah. I fit to do anything, you know. I fit to do my work now. Yes, 
me was tough But I don't repair, I don't recover Yeah, see me as a fresh Now they they ask me how would I do them Like me I say, I still in that way You go fuck up so long for the pedo, yeah I still in that way I mean, no, I see that multiplied time in, yeah. I still mean, anyway. I don't repair, I don't recover, yeah. See me as a fresh. Now they, they ask me how would I get How would I get drop? I still mean, anyway. You go fuck up so long for lipido, yeah. I still mean, anyway. Repair and recover with Astamin, a blend of amino acids and multivitamins. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, I welcome you all to this, to the 21st annual general meeting of our company. As you all know, this is a special time on account of the COVID-19 pandemic, which has curtailed social gathering accordingly in line with the guidelines of the Corporate Affairs Commission on the conduct of annual general meetings of public companies by proxies and the need to comply with the directives and regulations of the Federal Government of Nigeria, Lagos State Government, the Nigerian Center for Disease Control, NCDC, on safety and health measures against COVID-19 pandemic, the attendance at this year's annual general meeting is only by proxy, and it is limited to a maximum of 20 people. This is in line with Section 230 of the Companies and Allied Matters Act 2004. Therefore, the votes of members by proxy shall be counted in addition to those cast at this meeting by show of hands. I would like to call on the registrars, Meristem Registrars and Probate Services Limited, represented by Mr. Mrs. Mu no, sorry, Mrs. Mubo Ola Shoko, to please confirm the total number of valid proxies received in accordance with the law. Thank you very much, sir. I hereby confirm that um, we have a total of 397 proxies and nine shareholders present at this meeting, representing 955,740,694 shares. Thank you very much. Thank you. I now call on the company secretary to confirm the quorum for this meeting. I hereby confirm that the quorum for this meeting is well represented. Thank you. Thank you very much. Please note that the meeting having been duly convened and properly constituted, I hereby declare the meeting open and I call on Mr. 
and I call on Mr. Tunde Badmus to say the opening prayer. Mr. Tunde Badmus. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I've been listening for prayer. In Jesus' name, Amen. Father, we thank you. We glorify your name for this golden opportunity to be here. Accept our thanks in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Upon all the prevailing pandemic, all the events that have been negative, we have not partaken in it. Father, accept our thanksgiving in Jesus' name. Amen. For bringing us safely here, a lot might have happened along various routes we've taken for guaranteeing our safety from home to air. Accept our thanksgiving in Jesus' name. Amen. We commit every proceedings unto your arms. Father, take control. Amen. All our deliberations the wisdom and understanding to arrive at a success. Grant us this in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Upon the completion of the meeting, we are over our return journey to our various destinations unto your hands. You have seen us here safely. Father, say, see us back in safety. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you because you have answered our prayer. Thank you very much, Mr. Badmus. I would like to request that those moving. Sorry, can, can, we, have, can we have one meeting, please? Sir? I would like to request that those moving motions, those seconding motions put to the meeting, and those making comments or asking questions should speak clearly into the microphone. Before speaking, kindly commence by stating your name. There will be opportunity for questions and comments. And I wish to appeal to each speaker to be brief. Also, please raise your right hand when voting to make counting easy. I would also like to inform you that all the, all the that all that, I'd like to inform all of you all that the Register of Directors Holdings is on my left, and the Register of Attendance at Board Meetings are also available for inspection during this meeting in compliance with Section 275, Subsection 8 of the Companies and Allied Matters Act, Cap C20, Laws of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, 2004, and the rules of corporate governance, respectively. Now I'd like to introduce the directors and the company secretary. The profiles of the directors are contained in the published accounts, which, are, which have earlier been circulated. In full compliance with the social distancing rule, the managing director and I are the only directors physically present at this meeting. All the directors are joining us virtually Permit me, therefore, to recognize them and the company secretary. I'd like to start by calling on Dr. Fidelis Ayebe. He is a pioneer managing director and chief executive officer, and he's to my immediate right and physically present. I'd like to now call on Mr. Emmanuel Imwagani. He's a non-executive director, and he's on the screen. I also would like to introduce Mrs. Olufumilayo Ayebe, non-executive director, also shown on the screen. We have the apology of Mrs. Aisha to Pamela Sadauki, who unfortunately is bereaved and who is not able to attend this meeting. We, I, I hope on behalf of uh, all present, you would express uh, our, 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 our condolences to her. I also, I also would like to introduce Mr. Olubenga Olayeye, the Sales and Marketing Director 
He's also on the screen, I believe. <laughs> and Mr. Abiola Adebayo, he's the operations director. He's also on the screen. <laughs> to my immediate left is Mr. Yomi Adebanjo, the company secretary. I am Shegun Adebanji. Also in attendance are the representatives of the Nigerian Stock Exchange, Mr. Bonaventure Onwuji, <laughs> the Securities and Exchange Commission, Mrs. Aisha Liman. I believe she's here. She's joining us virtually. Yeah, she's on the screen. And the Corporate Affairs Commission, also joining us virtually. The external auditors are here represented by Mr. Michael uh, Oshiloe. Yeah. You're welcome. Thank you. Members of the audit committee are ably represented by the chairman, Chief Matthew Akinladi. Akinladi. You're welcome, Mr. Akinladi. Other members who are joining the meeting virtually are Alaji Sarumi, Abdul, Abdul Kabir, I believe he's also joining us, and Mr. Akisoya, Sunday Solomon. The director's representatives on the audit committee are Mrs. O.O. Ayebai, Mrs. A.P. Sadauki, and Mr. E.E. E. Imwagani. I now call on the secretary to read the notice convening the meeting. Company secretary. Thank you, Chairman, sir. Notice of the 21st Annual General Meeting. Notice is hereby given that the 21st Annual General Meeting of Fitzing Healthcare PLC hold on Thursday, the 23rd of July, 2020, at the conference center Second floor, Fishing Towers, 268 Kurudu Road, Urbani Kuru, Lagos, at 11 a.m. to transact the following businesses. The ordinary businesses. One, to lay before the meeting the, uh, the audited account for the year ended 31st December 2019, together with the reports of directors, auditors, and audit committee thereon. Two, to declare a dividend. Three, to re elect directors. Four, to authorize the directors to fix the remuneration of the auditors. And number five, to elect members of the audit committee in accordance with section 359, subsection 4 and 5 of the Companies and Other Matters Act 2004, and to consider the following special businesses, due authorization having been obtained from CEC. Number six, to fix the remuneration of directors. Seven, to consider and if thought fit, pass the following resolutions as a special resolution. Inverted comma. That a new Article 38 of the Articles of Association of the Company be and is hereby inserted to read as follows. A meeting of the Board of Directors may be held by conference call, video call, or other digital or electronic means. A director shall be entitled to participate in a board meeting by any digital or electronic means. And where a director so participates, he shall be counted for the purpose of determining whether a quorum has been formed and for determining the outcome of any vote taken at the meeting. Lastly, number eight, to consider an if thought fit to pass the following as an ordinary resolution that the general mandate given to the company to enter into recurrent transactions with related parties for the company's day-to-day -day operations, including, amongst other things, the procurement of goods and services on normal commercial terms B, and is hereby renewed. Notes, proxy. A member entitled to attend and vote at the annual general meeting is entitled to appoint a proxy to attend and vote in his or her state. A proxy form is attached to the account. 
All instruments of proxy should be duly completed and deposited at the registered office of the company at number 268 Ikundu Road of Lagos or the office of the registrars, Merisim Registrars and Probate Services Limited at 213 Abad Macaulay Way, Adifuli, Yabad, Lagos or by email to info at maritimeregistrars.com not later than 48 hours before the commencement of the meeting to enable the company to stamp the proxy forms at its expense. In compliance with the Federal Government Directive on Social Distancing and Rules Limiting Social Gathering to a maximum of 20 people, the company approached the Corporate Affairs Commission and obtained approval to conduct the meeting by proxy and to consider the special businesses listed above. Accordingly, any of the underlisted persons who are also shareholders of the company or the chairman of the board may be appointed a proxy. That is, Mr. Shego Adibanji, the chairman, and Dr. Fidelis Ayebe, the managing director and chief executive officer. Chief Matthew Akilabi, Sir Sonny Uwosu, Chief Timothy Adeshio, Mrs. B.C. Bakari, Mr. Femi Uduyemi, Mrs. Edfo Yemi Ubidei, and Mr. Boniface Okuzi. Dividend payment. If the dividend recommended by the directors is approved by members at the annual general meeting, payment will be made on Friday, the 24th of July, 2020, to members whose names appeared in the register of members at the close of business on the 6th of July, 2020. In line with the directives of the Securities and Exchange Commission to pay dividends electronically by direct credit into the bank accounts of shareholders, the dividend will be paid accordingly. Closure of register of members. The register of members and transfer books of the company will be closed from the 7th to 13th of July 2020, both dates inclusive for the purpose of the annual general meetings notice and payment of dividends. Nomination of members of the audit committee. Any member may nominate a shareholder as a member of the audit committee by giving notice in writing of such nomination to the company secretary at least 21 days before the annual general meeting. E-dividend, pursuant to the directive of the Securities and Exchange Commission, notice is hereby given to all shareholders to respectively open a bank account, stockbroking account, and CSCS account for the purpose of e-dividend. Number six, securities holders' rights. We stress in the notice, in compliance with Rule 19.12c of the Nigerian Stock Exchanges Regulation, that a member and other securities holders of the company may ask questions, not only at the AGM, but also in writing before the meeting. Such questions should be submitted at least one week before the date of the meeting. Live streaming of the AGM. To enable shareholders and other stakeholders who will not be able to attend the meeting physically to follow the meeting proceedings, the annual general meeting will be streamed live. Link for the live streaming will be made available on the company's website, www.fitsin.com in due course. And that was done by order of the board. J. Abayomi at the Banjo, FCIS, company secretary. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Yeah. The chairman's statement was circulated together with the published accounts. May I please have your permission to take it as read? Thank you very much. We now proceed to the agenda of the day. I shall be moving the motions and will then ask a shareholder here present to second it before putting it to votes. The votes already cast by way of proxy shall be added to those cast by those in attendance here, and the registrar shall announce the result on each business before I declare the result. Yeah. Okay. Starting with item one on the agenda, 
item one on the agenda is to lay before the meeting the audited accounts for the year ended 31st December 2019 together with the reports of the, of the directors, auditors, and audit committee thereon. I now call on the representative of the auditors, Deloitte and Touche, Mr. Michael Oshinloe, to please present the auditors' report, which was circulated to all members, along with the report and financial statements for the year ended 31st December 2019. Mr. Oshinloe. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, good morning, distinguished uh, shareholders. Good morning, uh, members of uh, the board. The independent auditor's report is on page 36 to 38 of the annual report that was earlier circulated. And Mr. Chairman, to save our time and not to bore us, may I crave your indulgence to read uh, the first two paragraphs and the last paragraph of the Independent Auditor's Report. Mm -hmm. Thank but you very much. Okay. Yeah, uh, thank you very much, uh, Mr. Boniface. Do I have your permission, distinguished shareholders? Thank you very much. Independent auditor's report to the shareholders of 15 Headcare PLC. Report on the audit of the financial statement. Opinion. We have audited the accompanying financial statement of 15 Headcare PLC, which comprised the statement of financial position as of 31 December 2019 the statement of profit and or loss and other comprehensive income, statement of changes in equity, statement of cash flows for the year then ended, and the notes to the financial statement, including a summary of significant accounting policy. In our opinion, the financial statement give a true and fair view of the financial position of Fitzing Healthcare PLC as at 31 December 2018, and the financial performance and cash flow for the year then ended in accordance with the International Financial Reporting Standards, the Companies and Allied Matter Act Cap C20 Law of the Federation of Nigeria of 2004, and the Financial Reporting Council of Nigeria Act of 2011. Basis for our opinion. We conducted our audit in accordance with the International Standard on Auditing, that's ISAS, our responsibility under those standards are further described in the auditor's responsibility for the audit of the financial statement section of our report. We are independent of the company in, according, in accordance with the requirement of the Institute of Chartered Accountants of Nigeria Professional Code of Conduct and Guide for Accountants, that's ICANN code, and other independent requirements applicable for performing audit of financial statements in Nigeria. We have, fulfilled our, we have fulfilled our other ethical responsibility in accordance with the ICANN code and in accordance with other ethical requirements applicable for performing audits in Nigeria. The ICANN code in, is consistent with the International Ethics Standards Board for accountant codes of ethics for professional accountants, both parts A and B. We believe that the audit evidence we have obtained and gathered are sufficient and appropriate to provide a basis for our opinion. Then the last paragraph, report on other legal and regulatory requirements. In accordance with C schedule of companies as allowed matter RCAP C20 law of registration of Nigeria, we also expressly state as follows. One, we have obtained all the information and explanation which to the best of our knowledge and belief are necessary for the purpose of our audit. Two, the company has kept proper books of account so far as appears from our examination of those books. Then three, the company's financial position and the statement of profit or loss and other comprehensive income are in agreement with the books, in a, with the books of account and return. Signed for on behalf of Deloitte and Touche by Chigozi Okoro, dated 18th May, 2020. Thank, Thank you, you, sir. Thank you very much, Mr. Shiloh. Thank you.
I now call on the chairman of the audit committee, Chief Matthew Akinlade, to present the report of the committee. Chief Akinlade. The chairman of Fritzen PLC, the managing director, other directors attending virtually, regulatory authorities, and my esteemed colleagues, shareholders, um, good morning. Good morning. My name is Matthew Akinlade. I present the audit committee's report. In the, course, in the course of the financial year 2019, the statutory audit committee of Fixing Health Care PSC met four times as illustrated in the table below. Our terms of reverence include, but are not limited to the following. One, assist in the oversight of the integrity of facing healthcare PSC's financial statements and compliance with legal and other re regulatory requirements, assessment of qualifications and independence of the external auditors, and performance of the company's internal audit function as well as that of external auditors. Two, ensure the development of a comprehensive internal control framework for the company. Obtain assurance and report annually in the financial report on the operating effectiveness of the company's internal framework. Three, oversee management's process for the identification of significant fraud risks across the company and ensure that adequate prevention, detection, and reporting mechanism are in place. Four, discuss the annual audited financial statement with management and external auditors. Five, discuss policies and strategies with respect to risk assessment and management. Six, re review and ensure that adequate whistleblowing procedures are in place and that a summary of issues reported are highlighted to the chairman. Seven, review with external auditors any audit scope limitations or problems encountered and management responses to same. In addition, to review the independence of external auditors and ensure that we are known audit services are provided by the external auditors, there is no conflict of interest. Eight, preserve auditors' independence by setting clear hiring policies for employees or former employees of independent auditors. Nine, invoke its authority to investigate any matter within its terms of reference for which purpose the company must make available the resources to the internal auditors with which to carry out this function, including access to external advice where necessary. Consequently, in accordance with the provisions of section 359, subsection 6, of the Companies and Allied Matters Act, CAP C20, law of the, Laws of the Federation of Nigeria, 2004, the members of the, the Statutory Audit Committee of Fixing Health Care PSC hereby report that we have exercised our statutory functions under this act, and we acknowledge the cooperation of the management and staff in the discharge of these responsibilities. Specifically, we confirm that one, 
the accounting and reporting policies of the company are consistent with the legal requirements and ethical practices. Two, the internal audit programs are extensive and provide a satisfactory evaluation of the efficiency of the internal control systems. And three, we have considered the independent auditors post audit report and management responses thereon and are satisfied with responses to our question as well as the state of fixing healthcare PSA. Signed by me, Matthew Akin Lade, on the 25th of March, 2020. Other members of the committee who are not present here, but are attending virtually, are Alaji Abdukadir Sarume, Mr. Solomon S. Akinsanya, Mrs. Olufumi Lola O. Ayebe, Mrs. Aisa P. Sadauki, Mr. Emmanuel Imuagene. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Akinade. Thank you, Chief Akinade, for the presentation. As copies have been circulated to you in advance, I hereby lay before you, before this meeting, the director's report, the statement of financial position, together with the financial statements for the year ended 31st December 2019. The managing director and I will be pleased to answer questions and listen to comments which you may have on the report and the financial statements before we proceed to the next item on the agenda. It would be helpful, it will help us to properly address your questions if you would refer to the pages of the report and accounts to which your question or comments relate. Right. Shall we start with Mr. Mr. Boniface, yes. The chairman of fishing Healthcare PSC, distinguished director, president, and those virtual, fellow distinguished shareholders. Good morning. Good morning. My name is Okezia Boniface, the national chairman, Progressive Shareholder Association of Nigeria. Mr. Chairman, I want to first and foremost appreciate the board for having us the confidence. I think eight of us present here attend this meeting today, in the midst of almost 7,000 shareholders, and we're able to represent those other ones who cannot be here, virtue of the current situation we're in. It's worldwide, because the facing annual general meeting ought to be a carnival or celebration for the performances of the year. But unfortunately, here we are a few uh, in observing the uh, NCDC directive in protocol observing the AGM. So I want to appreciate the company secretary who have made it possible for us to be here, even to get the accounting time to be able to follow proceedings of this meeting. You have done a good job, and you continue to do a good job for the company. So I want to appreciate you for doing that. Mr. Chairman, we thank God we are still paying dividend today, despite the harsh economy in the year we operated. 2019, culminated with the election and the downturn in the economy, which also have not found its feet. The economy is still wobbling. And here we are, COVID, compounded. But I don't know how come next year, which in 2020, I can we're going to consider God keep all of us alive and which he, he's willing to keep if we continue to abide by his grace. I don't know how dividend will be able to come because that's a return tax for the board and the management and entire work staff. Because fishing, even if we are proposing the 15 cobalt we are proving today, which would ought to be 
That's not what our fishing should be rated, 15 kobo. No. Mr. Chairman, we need to begin to work hard. To grow our earning, 20 kobo is not good enough, and which you have been paying us 15 kobo. Fishing is half brand. I'm one of the leading pharmaceutical companies today. Mr. Chairman, we are worried that most of our raw material are imported, especially from India and China. And at this lockdown, which have been posed a challenge to pharmaceutical companies to look inward. If today, and the lockdown continue worldwide, including India, they are struggling now too. They also have those health challenges. How do we cope to run as a company and to provide health delivery services to our Nigerians? We're talking about 200 million. India is about one point something billion you know, uh, people living in that country. And we're still importing this raw material from them. What are the government doing, the assisting companies, to able to are nice? Because those days, when people fall sick, the Goyaro is a good medicinal. But the root leaves are useful. There are so many herbs that we can harness and they bring out to be able to manufacture good drugs. At least malaria. We are not talking of pandemic, COVID. We are not talking of HIV. But other element that I will have the forestry that we can get the root and herbs to be able to bring them out to manufacturers so that we can have those drug a cheap, I mean, retail outlet to an agent affordable. Government is not concerned. Every day we budget for health sector. It's not even enough what they're budgeting. And what they have budgeted, we don't reach it. Most people are resorted on their own. And that's what's also happening in this pandemic. All is ready tent. When we're talking about politics, we don't see it. There's no adequate health care provider for Nigerians. Everybody has resorted to quack or their own doctors. General hospital is not functioning. This hospital is not functional. That's why we are today as a nation. What's the way forward? But thank God we are looking at the private sector, which have been delivering. In the midst of difficulties, we are still having dividends approved. And which those people who are retirees, who are investing in the company, have become their palliative. Because if the government can assist you, it's assist your own. The government are only interested in tax. That's all. Pay the tax on taxable. Pay it. Pay house rent tax. Pay rental tax. They are now coming about it, you know. But what is the government providing for the citizens? Zero. We are having nothing being provided for us. Even when we supply to general hospital or the government to collect the money, it becomes receivable. Where is the way forward, Mr. Chairman? And that is a, a Heraclean task for you people to make sure that we operate and bring dividend to those who are invested. Thank you. Mr. Chairman, having said that, I will look on page eight of this account, which is um, result at a glance. Mr. Chairman, our revenue, which is the bottom line, is 14.062 billion, as against 16 in the previous year. Profit before tax, Mr. Chairman, is also 5.7 million. 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 575 million. Million. 575 million. Million, please. Mr. Chairman, in this report we are seeing today, like I said earlier, our earning is 20 cobra, as against 6 cobra last year where we do not have dividend. Mr. Chairman, we need to grow the earning. Like I said, those raw material have become a problem. I know the ND have been shortly making sure that this company is running. Today we have almost world class plant in order. We should be able to manufacture good medicine and drugs to take care of our nations. Because this pandemic has offered us another challenging opportunities for us make money. People make money in times of crisis. If you put our head together, this time to make more money and to pay more bigger dividend. Because as I came in this morning as a manufacturer in pharmaceutical industry, 
we should be able to have sanitizers made by this company. Because we have told by the committee chairman of uh, COVID 2019 that today in Abuja, in all over the Federation, there's a fake hand sanitizers. And if we able to manufacture, they will eliminate those quack in circulations. Because people will know that this sanitizer is coming for fixing who shall be noted in good product. Everybody will buy it. We'll make more money. So this time to key in, if you are not key in already, because we ought to have seen it on the table as entering. This is our product. Then bringing other people's product to keep on. What are we doing? We're the health pharmaceutical company. We should be able to explore the opportunity to make more money. Not to give us excuse come this year that COVID came. We couldn't make more money. It's totally unacceptable. Thank I challenge Dr. I, I think for the benefit of other members. Is yes, Mr. Chairman. If you could run up yes, Mr. Chairman. Thank you. We are not much here today. Yeah. Yes, we will speak. I'm going to make progress. Yeah. Mr. Chairman, on page 20, I want to also say here that we make donations, giving out a widow's might to the society. But I want also to urge the board to be specific on these donations, the beneficiaries. You say religion organization, who are those religions? They don't have name. Hospital health institution, they must have a name. Schools community, they must have a name. Even if my own community, Ntiga, where I come from, you should state it here. We give to Ntiga community for Mabia State. If it's a wooden where I live, we give to a wooden community. You should be noted here. Those are beneficiaries. So I don't want them to belong together. Yes, it's very, very important. Yes, Thank my you. village, yes, of Thank course. Mm -hmm. It should be not, it's very important. We should separate them and state the name of the beneficiaries. Mm -hmm. Mr. Chairman, on page 26, 27, I want to commend the board members' attendance. At least three people show more commitment, 100% excellent, three people. I want to commend them. Uh, my good friend and brother and his wife went to sabbatical honeymoon. You know, when you work so much, in the year, you have to take at least time off to go to honeymoon. Because honeymoon is a continuous, not that the way that, no. You should be renewal every year. So I have to commend him and the wife for taking pain out to do that honeymoon. So other ones are very excellent, and the committee members, even chairman, how did that 100%? Chairman, well done. Thank you. Keep it up. I will. Yes, you know. Um, other committee, audit members, all the committee, uh, Mr. Kledi, well done. Well done, sir. So they have tended and the commitment, the idea. So I want to commend, that is uh, what you expect from company. And if you don't attend this meeting, you can't formulate policy for management to carry out. Mm -hmm. I want to commend the board. They are living exemplary. Mr. Chairman, on page, I want to talk about, uh, yes, page 41 and 42 and 63. I think I will have to end there. Mm -hmm. Mr. Chairman, I want to also commend the management for operational reasons. Uh, it's not much, at least moderate, in where they have spent, in the way they run affairs of the company. They have shown prudent in managing affairs of this company. I want to commend them Thank you. for doing that. I want to commend them excellently. They have done very well. Mr. Chairman, you see people why people are running away from investing in the company does not pay bonus. Quick issue. We should look at it. Since in section, Dr. Ayebe have not been able to convince the board to propose dividend, I mean, yeah, bonus to the shareholders. 4.9 billion share premium is tempting. We must begin to share it among us. Come next year, Mr. Chairman. And that's why some brokers don't invest in a company that does not issue bonus. But when it's become out of hand, we also advise you, don't issue. We want to enhance dividend. But the board have to think fast to give us bonus. Come this year. I'm challenging you to do that. It's a must. Yes, so that uh, our share will begin to go up. Because people will now come in. They will say, why should I invest this company? About dividend, 20 go, but I go. They don't give bonuses. Mr. Chairman, let us think along that line to begin to give bonus to shareholders. 
Thank you. Mr. Chairman, it's very, very important. Last. Yeah. I told you last, it's page 63. Now I say last. I'm ending there. Please, 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 please. Yeah, final. Yeah, last or the last. Mr. Chairman, yes, please. Yes. I want to commend the auditors for maintaining the status quo in their field. Yes, clap for them. I, do. I know the Lord and thought it doesn't charge arbitrarily. But that does not show when I commend you this year that next year you have to hit the roof. No, 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 no. Yes, Mr. Chairman, I am also worried here. Corporate session, consulting fees, consultancy fees, you know, of one over one million, as I gave you to, which, what, what are we consulting? Mr. Chairman, we need to watch that, you know. It's going up. That is on the high side. On the high side. Very, very on the high side. Mr. Chairman. Also, traveling expenses. Okay, even at that, you know, is I compared last year and this year, that's also high. Because my friend today, other ones, I think this COVID is a blessing in disguise. Well. It's got all our traveling expenses this year. Nobody was traveling. So we had to save more money. We had to save more money. Yes, we had to save more money. Mr. Chairman, I'm also worried here on this uh, legal fees and what have you. We should also watch those things. They're also going a little haywire. We should also watch that. Thank Mr. You. Chairman, Thank you very much. in all of these things, you know, yeah. I think the company have done very well. Thank you. So we should continue to do more Thank come this much. year. We Thank you, and God bless all of us. Thank you. Thank you very much. I think we need to give a lady a chance. Um, yes, please, ma'am. Oh, sorry. Sorry. I, no, I, you, you raise your hands first, ma'am, please. Mm. I not get to. Now you. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, for giving me this opportunity. Please. Sir, I would like to greet the chairman, the valuable board member of the board. Could you My please introduce yourself? Okay. Please. My name is Mrs. E. O. Obidei, National Coordinator of Akob Goshiawada Association, Incorporated. Permit me to condole our my, uh, MD on the death of our affection mother. May I may I get to so rest in perfect peace. Amen. Amen. The 21 annual general meeting that we are doing should not be prolonged because you have performed greatly, and we re, we 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 thank you for that. The in one of your products, which I am advertising to my colleague that I will not take advertisement money, you're asking me if an agent people wants to go old and better, they should please take asking me. Yes, it's a good product from our company. Can, let me go to page 30 of the annual report. The pay. Let me talk now, my Baboko. The pay three contain all the agenda which we needed. We thank you for that. Page. Page six. Sorry, I'm not with my glasses. The. The our mission has been shown in some other company. We don't know their mission, but in our company, you show our mission for us. Yes. Page seven. Thank you for the information that was given to us in this page. It has shown us that you really devote time for shareholder to analyze all what is going on in the company. 
Let's go to page eight. I'm making it faster so that some other people can talk. Uh, my voice is not. <laughs> the index on page eight, it's a great one. We have a good and better performance in the year review, page 20. The in Mr. Chairman, sir, in 14.0, that's page 20. Yes, we really appreciate We thank you for the, the things that is being written. It is clearly for somebody that goes through this annual report very well. Page, page 31. I took my time to study it. Page 31. I commend our auditor. They really did a good job. And wherever they are, we always enjoy them. Page 102. Mr. Badmos, are you not hearing me very <laughs> 98. Page 98. It is very important for me, sir. The drug, finally, sir. The drug we advertise in page 98. It's a good drug drug for pregnant women is better than the one of well, wealthy and is not common in the hospitals, even in the market. So the cells, even oblonsis. I remember in those days that we are giving birth, even when I was giving birth, the, the oblonsis, and this is another one, it's not common. Please, sir, let's have it in some general hospital. Okay. It is very important because it's a good drug. Don't let other foreign ones take over our drug. Okay. It is important, sir. Thank you. 105. My recommendation goes to the registrar. In fact, they've done a good job from page 105 to 123. They have analyzed those unclaimed dividends for somebody that's forgotten that he has some dividend to claim. And they have done a good job to show us and analyze it. Well done, madam. My name is there. I need money now. I will collect it. So that is my sir. I I am using this opportunity to thank fixing because there are some group that are going up and down and say they are from um they were choose from sec to represent us, but fixing done a random choosing in choosing us. Thank you for that. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Can, can uh, the gentleman in the, in the face shield, and then after that, we'll come to the gentleman in the, in the blue hat. And then uh, the, you'll, you follow. The face shield, blue hat, and then yourself. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Chairman. You're welcome. The name is uh, Ibru de Moses. Uh, sorry? Ibru de Moses. Can I, can I crave your indulgence for us to be, so that we can uh, hear uh, the speaker? Ibru de Moses, and uh, I stand in for Sir uh, Sonny Wosu, who is uh, not around, and he sent his uh, 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 apology. Then I'm not going to talk much, but I'll just 
read through what I have for you because I don't want to dive into where people have uh, really. Now, <clears throat> first of all, I have to really commend uh, the management of this company, especially the MD and the wife, that a Nigerian company, a Nigerian person, have been able to grow a company to this extent. So anytime I stand in EGM and I'm talking in a Nigerian uh, uh, firm, run by firm, found by firm, I'm always proud and I always like to mention it. Mm -hmm. That even if you uh, declare one cobble and it is paid, where does the money go? Nigeria. So for that, I want you to continue to do that. I want this company to be 100 years, so I will celebrate it. We will know that, yes, we can do it as Africans. So please, my prayer is that you should continue. God give you the wisdom to pilot the affair of this company. Don't run too much. Just take it gradually. We will reach there. That is one, the advice, one of the advice I will, I will give you. Then to go again. If you look at the new normal, that is, now we cannot even recognize ourselves. Last year, I did a, uh, a fantastic uh, job where your AGM and the magazine I launched, all of you were seen. But today, now we can't see each other. You can't even recognize me. That is a new normal. Now, on Monday, this Monday that is coming, Standard Organization of Nigeria throughout the Western Africa, we are going to discuss the standard for face masks. Three categories that we are going to, is, uh, they have done it in the Western, that is, whatever you manufacture today here will be circulated around the West Africa. And it is on Monday that we are going to discuss that. I want you people to key into this business. Whether you like it or not, sanitizer, face masks, and all these things are going to remain for some time, even for, for forever, because we will not remain like that. So what I'm saying is that I'm only giving you the privilege that, yes, Stone is doing something, and we, as company who manufacture in this uh, uh, industry, must key into it. So those information you must get. Then your raw material is key. Where you get your raw material is very key. Because every time, devaluation, devaluation, we are going to 500. Can we continue going like that? Before you know it now, you see exchange gain, uh, your losses, exchange this. Before you know it, we run into uh, 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 losses. So you need to think. If you don't, you have to get, develop a, a very high tech research development department that we look into all that we can use, source our local material around this corner. I can tell you with boldness, your C, uh, Ciprotab is this one of the best. Um, I use it, and that is the only antibiotic I want to take that I use. Ciprotab, and it's super, especially when you talk of well, typhoid, whatever you are talking about it. But my problem is this, sir. If you go to the hinterland, far in the villages, you see that these things are faked. In the five villages, I've experienced it. In Abuja stream some years back, I experienced, I bought one. That was some time years, and I brought it to the attention of uh, one of the AGM that time. What happened? I bought it. It, didn't, it was not working well, but I thought, that is not from you. So you need to actually check, continuously making uh, 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 research and Designed to make sure you check all these things. Anytime you see them, we know uh, 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 NAVDAC and uh, pharmaceutical people, uh, uh, these, uh, these things are doing a great job by you put a code which you can authenticate. You should continue to do that and you must continue to do it. Then again, I'm going to talk about um, the un unclaimed dividend. Sir, 
The unclaimed dividend is Nigeria money or investors money, not company money, not government money, not SEC or nobody money. But this thing is there. What I want to say, if the SEC man and the Nigeria Stock Exchange is here, the approach to all this thing is simple. This money, you have given a law that this money should be placed in a, a special account, which is that. And that money is generate interest, re generating interest. That interest of that money, can't we use it to trace these people? It will cost anything to anybody. It will not affect the money of uh, the shareholder. It will not affect the money of the, the company. You must design a way and say that use that interest to chase those people. They are not ghosts. You assign reputable people to be looking around the whole co the country, moving who is this. It's easier now to, 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 to trace people. But we say unclaimed dividend, unclaimed how many people are reading this unclaimed dividend? So we need to do something about it. It is about the regulators who are supposed to look at it and work it out with the, gov uh, 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 with the company. If it is possible, that okay, give the company uh, authority under your supervi uh, supervision that you can assign somebody, two, three people to do that. We will do that. This is a new company. But we, I'm, I, when did the uh, fishing come to, 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 to listing that we are having or claim the dividend? Even MTN that had just uh, two years ago now is having a claim dividend. That meaning that there's something fundamentally wrong that we are not doing right. So I am appealing in this occasion to all the regulators and especially the new segment to act on this one and give opportunity and pre, uh, that opportunity to co each company to make sure they look for their own shareholder. That is, that, 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 that is one of the things I want, I want to talk about. And finally, without um, uh, too much, in the, one of these uh, uh, amortization uh, of government grants on page, uh, one of the, uh, the pages here, I'm seeing that the government is giving, uh, you make other income, that is 159 million in 2019, uh, 2019 and 141 in 2018. How long will this thing continue? How, how long are we going to enjoy? How long is it that we are going to... Because we need to... We have added... Uh, that is uh, other operating income, page 63. If you look at it, I'm on the of government grants. You know, we are enjoying it. How long will that be? How... So that we went, we end it. The effect will not be much in our... In the balance sheet. Sir, I... Thank you so much that uh, you give me the opportunity to, 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 to express uh, my opinion about the account. You have done a great job. And as I have said, the board is doing a great job. Uh, the MD, please, as we have said, continue to do what you are doing so that you can sustain this company so that in under 100 of uh, 50, 70 years, we know that, yes, Nigerian can do it and Nigerian African people can do it. Thank you very much, and congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. J just one second. Intervention from the Thank you. Thank you. Please, please introduce yourself. Thank you, sir. I'm Mr. Chairman. My name is Tunde Badmo. I thank you for giving me this privilege. I sat on a lifetime with my friend. He was talking about uh, that popular antibiotics, which is an household name, if not the best in Nigeria. I would suggest you desist from self-medication. <laughs> because the drug... <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Let me start. <laughs> I thank you, Mr. Chairman and the MD, for the privilege once again. Our new reality is abnormal. And uh, we are getting used to it. It's only, it only comes with opportunities. If you look at the Chairman's speech, you are talking about challenges. Thank God you didn't call it difficulties. It came. 
it came as uh, challenges. It came as challenges, and uh, I trust our Mabel chairman and the board, together with the management. They will fast. They are fast turning things into opportunities. He has been doing it over the years, and uh, there is no sign of him relenting soon. Because the man is getting better as he ages. He comes with new innovations yearly. And as I was teasing him the other time he came in, I said, let me give him a youthful greeting, regardless of uh, his age. Mr. Chairman, I will implore you to extend the secret of your youthfulness to us, so that we younger ones, we will not age faster than you. I will adopt that suggestion <laughs> and recommend it to the whole house that we should do more patronage. I'm an ardent uh, customer of Fritzing, especially the multivitamins. You mentioned the other one you are using when, during your pregnancy. Uh, yes, they are still as active as ever. Let's, let's keep on patronizing and doing more. However, during this pandemic, as I mentioned it as a window of opportunities opening up. How far are we going or have we gone in uh, joining the league of uh, companies like ours, searching for possible cure or vaccines of uh, COVID-19? If, uh, if you are on the stage, the stage we have on it, because I know we are not just sitting down folding our hands and waiting for the international corporations to do it. We can do it, and I'm sure Fritzing will be among the best, among the first to come out with a viable and feasible treatment or vaccine in this side of, part of the world. Let us know how far you've gone, and uh, so that we we should be more, we should be heard more if you are working along that line. Other companies and countries are not taking being too silent about it. In the Asia, you know the people there. In the Indians have come out with yes, even publicly. I read of uh, COVID. One funny name they mentioned over the news, and uh, where we are, let us know. I noticed that uh, the company, as part of being uh, prudent, you divide some other means of saving cost, cutting, cutting cost and saving money. An example, a good example is that uh, reduction in energy cost. On page 62, the energy cost reduced significantly. After all, uh, meanwhile, it's a major challenge to uh, your peers in the manufacturing sector, those that run factories. Energy and power cost is killing. Meanwhile, Fitzson has uh, devised some method of uh, reducing our own cost. Kudos to you for that. Uh, uh, ingenious way of uh, saving cost because it will, it will, it will still trickle down on uh, retail shareholders generally if costs are reduced. It affects the bottom line and uh, it, it frees some part of the money to be available as a distributable profit in terms of uh, dividend. That's why I mentioned it as a plus. Please keep it up and do more. By next year, let's see another significant leap in that savings. Last year it was 77 million you saved. And I'm sure by the time we go along that line, next year you may double the savings and it, will come, it may come down to us as a part of our trade, uh, distributable profits. Thank you, Mr. Chairman and MD particularly for doing that. You also, I noticed there is an improvement in staff emoluments too. Comes across board. And uh, it, would, it would be fair if you are taking good care of staff and management, I would say the ball should be left out. So whatever you get, you merit it, you deserve it. You've been hardworking and resilient. And uh, 
my other appeal is that uh, let it go ahead, along, across board, from the top to the bottom, so that uh, the staff will be happy the, uh, discharging their service accordingly. I want to ap uh, appreciate the proactiveness of the, of the firm. Even pre-COVID, you tapped into the CBN uh, and the federal government uh, intervention scheme that uh, offers you cheap capital, cheap uh, facilities, which has been a, a wise decision for you. Otherwise, you will just be working too much for the banks. If you saw so your facilities, credit facilities, from the commercial banks that uh, are not made, they, they won't even look at uh, considering you for any palliative in form of grant. You've been, you've been prudent. You didn't just start when COVID started and started rushing down. I will only employ you, SAS, to kindly tap into your initiative of uh, getting more, uh, tapping more into the federal government intervention scheme for manufacturers and your sector especially so that we can get more, more affordable loans and grants. You know, as we get those loans, it is grants inclusive. And uh, what could be wiser than getting loans and that is grants inclusive? At the end of the day, you pay less than what you even got as a loan. If a company can get a grant since you tap into it, you've, you've got 10 grants up to in excess of 1 billion. Then, despite knowing the fact that it's a capital intensive, 1 billion, 1.2 billion may be a drop in the ocean for what you need. Then, there's nothing stopping you from using the same initiatives you used to get that grant of uh, over a billion and raise, raise, the, raise the bar up to whatever may be suitable for your needs. I know you can do it, and I employ you to do it. I, as a PT, the MD is out, but I will, see, I will still say it in his absence. Because uh, in Yoruba, if a family is bereaved, and uh, somebody say, let the junior ones eat, does it imply that the elderly has uh, murdered the, the, the dead, the deceased? No. <laughs> I'm talking in parable, and I'm sure the meaning, we, I will draw, I will let the meaning, I will reveal the meaning now. The MD of the company, the funding MD, thank God the company is doing fine, and uh, profitable up to, up, to, up to now, after 21 years or more, because we are looking at the pre-market, pre-inauguration years, which has been its own brainchild. Up to today, we owe him some allowances, legacy allowances, and uh, even loans, personal loans from his pocket. I know, being who he is, he may not even ask you, this is legacy, but I'm just being considerate now, because fairness is fair. Let the company look into repaying the man his uh, outstanding loans, as well as his emoluments. About 176 million, I guess. I know the company could afford it, but if he willingly donates his back, plow it back, let us hear that benefit from it. That's why I would have loved him to be available while making that uh, request. It's for our own good, for the, for the joint benefit, not just for him. Being we, if we say, no, let's waive it, I have applied that we, minority and retail shareholders, will be glad to benefit from such a legacy. But I, on the serious note, let's look at it. repaying him, paying him to encourage him to do more. So whom much is given, much will be expected. Okay. Thank you very much. On a final note, so yes. that my speech will be as short as Mr. Okizay's own. He's a short man. The, <laughs> the company secretariat 
he, he has been as humble as ever. Although, some, you cannot satisfy serve everybody. Even if you are to serve 10 people, you will still. But uh, Mr. Adebanjo, with my interaction with him, is a good example of who and what a company secretary should be. It's approachable, it's friendly, and it's even understanding. But we still expect more from him, which may be beyond his power. There comes my reason for elogizing him. We British elders, we, are, we often ask for more, more, more. That may, even be, <laughs> that may be beyond the, the company secretary's or secretary's power. I'm imploring the board and the, the management to kindly empower our humble Yomi so that it won't be troubling the MD for things that could be beyond his office. Okay. And don't forget, if the MD decide to waive his outstanding allowances and loans, we, the minority child, we are your brothers, we will gladly be happy if you distribute it across the board. But I know you will need the money. I'm just imploring the board and company to look at the case and pay you. I know you won't be able to request for such a payment. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. My name is Tony Badness. Thank you so much. I think given, given how far we've gone, I think, no, because the time is well spent, so I think we'll take the gentleman with the blue hat and then Madame, and that will be it, please. Thank you for your understanding. Yeah. Good morning, sir. Yeah. Good morning. Uh, I, Good afternoon. I, I, uh, I, I, sorry, before, before we finish, I have just been advised that I also missed uh, the gentleman in, in, uh, in uh, Mr. Mr. Ido. Uh -huh. So after Madame, then uh, he will be the last uh, to okay. speak. Thank you very much. Good afternoon. My dancer and um, men. Um, my name is Femi Oduemi, a shareholder. Um, first of all, I refer you to page. I refer you to page 86. I I refer you to page 86. Okay. That's um, note 37. Contingency liability. Um, I want to know the full, how far you have gone on that uh, note that seven. Then on page 82, note 30A, that's um, trade payable. Under that trade payable, outstanding dues to non executive director. What's the state of payment now? As I did. Sorry, uh, can you repeat that again, please? Note. Note um, 30A, page 82. On outstanding um, due to non executive directors for two years or something like that. Then on page 3, under dividends, that one concerns. Uh, the our paymaster. Are we sure that that date is feasible for payment of dividends? We can't be paid today because the check has been confirmed. Mm. That's all my submission, sir. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you, Madam. Please. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Yes, please. Good afternoon, Mr. Chairman, Executive Director, our MD that is here present, the Company Secretary, Regulatory Authorities present, my co shareholders. Good afternoon. My name is Mrs. B.C. Bakari. First and foremost, Mr. Chairman, before I start my comments, I want to specially use this opportunity to thank the board of fixing healthcare PSC for inviting me to this Prozi AGF. Why I'm saying this, this is a privileged opportunity. So I really appreciate it. 
Thank you, and God bless you all. Having said that, again, secondly, uh, I want us to put this one also on record. And this is, I'm going to direct this to we shareholders, that companies have prerogative to invite shareholders that have their shares as proxies to their AGM. Because shareholders should be mindful of their statement, especially when they are in public domain. This prosy AGM is life. They are watching it throughout the world, not only Nigeria. Because someone called me about two weeks ago that Mrs. B, I saw you on so so AGM. So it's not only in Nigeria. In addition to that, that's why I don't blame SEC, our representative. I blame shareholders for some issues that our regulators, I mean, uh, action of some of our regulators. It was shareholders that complained to SEC that companies are inviting shareholder A, B, C, D to pre AGM. They don't invite shareholder G, H, I, whatever. But at the end, what happened? They cancel everything. It is the same shareholder that told, uh, told regulators that they are giving gifts to some shareholders and so on. What happened? They stopped everything. Who lose? It's we retail shareholder that lose. For a shareholder to come here and say, uh, SEC is giving companies who to call. I'm surprised. Because even shareholders that raise these uh, 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 comments, she has been invited for two or three uh, AGM. Where shareholders, where shareholders are not up to four. So uh, companies have the right to invite whoever they like. Having said that, I will go straight. So please, I would suggest we stick to the issues on this. Yeah, yeah. Please. Page yes. 12. Yes. Page 12. OK, yes. Page 12, Mr. Chairman. Uh, on that, that is on Chairman's statement. You express a serious concern on Naira devaluation, forest challenge, fall in crude oil price, and closure of borders in China and India, our major supply chains. My question on this is, is going to be on inventory replenishment. What measures do we have in place? to compensate for the disruption in supply chain, especially on our import reliance from China and India. What areas are we going to be focusing on as we go into local production? Secondly, Mr. Chairman, the statement you made on future outlook for our company is highly commendable as it covers critical areas that our company needs to start looking into to remain a number one leader in the industry. May the good Lord give our board the strength and wisdom to achieve them all as we position the company for a greater height. Amen. Page 42, where we have inventory and receivable. Mr. Chairman, we intention to increase price of products. Sir, how are we going to manage the aftermath of a possible increase in inventory and receivables? Going by the uh, figures showing during the year being reviewed. Page 62, note 6. Uh, revenue breakdown. Why revenue for ETCA and OTC decreased marginally? That of our consumer unit was so sharp from 74 million to just 1.2 million. Mr. Chairman, aside the explanation mentioned on reason for drop in revenue, me as a shareholder, I would like to know the specific reason for who drop in this segment of our revenue, that is the consumer unit. Uh, page 41. Sorry, before I go to page 41, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Chairman, our company was one of the companies that enjoyed 
financial grant from World Health Organization. I would like to know the current position of the grants and what should be the expectation of shareholders due to these grants. I would like to know. Again, Mr. Chairman, as a company that is not immune against the environmental factors, kindly tell us your business continuity plan post COVID-19 era. We would like to know also. Lastly, uh, on page, page 41. On page 41, that is statement of profit or loss. Mr. Iberi has said a lot on that page, so I'm not going to repeat him. But I want to use this opportunity to really thank the Board of Fixing Healthcare PSC for proposing a dividend of 15 kobo from uh, earnings per share of 20 kobo. We really appreciate you. May God, Lord, continue to bless you all. Thank you once again for the opportunity given to me. Thank you, ma'am. So, Chief, if you could round it all up with your questions. Yes, Mr. Chairman. You may have to raise the mic up, sir. <laughs> okay, thank you. Mr. Chairman, sir, the managing director, management of the company, distinguished fellow shareholders, my name is Benga Idobu. I lead the shareholders association called Shareholders United Front. And also, I manage Center for Shareholders Enlightenment. But that one is very, very silent because the Nigeria is not, if you want to kill everybody, then go and start criticizing. Where will you find the angel? Not in Nigeria. So that one is taking me to pinch or so. so. Before I start going to my, uh, the annual report, I want to let people know what is decent, what is not decent. Somebody just lost a mother. You don't come here and be talking that one. Where is, where do you, what do they tell about how to talk in the public? I think in the because of we are share of the activities doesn't mean you have to lose, lose it all. Apology to you, MD. I'm very sorry. I set our condolences. And I've now go to the meeting. Um, I would the this particular annual report, I took it with a lot of responsibility because a lot of hard work had gone into it. But maybe people are not looking at it that way. Starting from the very f the outside page, empowering the future. Actually, that's exactly what it's trying to look at. You see, everything there is going to all that work. And we know we are talking something what the normal new normal because of it's in, in the future. We have been dealing with pandemic, the pandemic. What happened after pandemic? So <laughs> now I <clears throat> but I have another one for them, the management. You are <clears throat> you have first class products. First class products, you are singling out one. Because when you're talking repair and recover, as they mean, <clears throat> like other one I've been talking about, so many products here. Could you really be doing it as a policy? Because what you are doing it here, uh, repair and recover, truly, you go with the product itself, well articulated. Could you bring your other product again for subsequent AGM and be doing 
<clears throat> I'll be doing some other ones like this because there are so many first class products in the company, not just one. So you try to market them, them being there along with this. I saw quite a lot of hard work. And I want to really congratulate that those team, people in those team. It's a well articulated policy. Then I look at page eight. Page eight told us so many things, the management and the board they've done. If you have money, you can go places. The little capital injection you had last year, see what the difference it has made <coughs> in the report you are bringing. So it's a way you utilize, you utilize the capital well. And it's showing that this one, it gave me comfort that the company is going to go not 100 years, many, many years. See them in uh, CNN, company that has done 100 years, and you will do many. Mm. Your offspring, they will benefit from what you have started. <coughs> I look at, uh, I look at page, uh, page one o five to one twenty. The people I mentioned about it here. This issue of uh, unclaimed dividend is becoming a pandemic. You don't know. Where you get the horse, you become a horse. <laughs> you are riding it like this. So, I think it has to come down to all of you putting us together. One company can't do it alone. Because something is going wrong somewhere. The registrar, you go to them, this company, they say you can't come unless you bring your uh, email. You do this, then you go to them, you can't find them. So, where do you reclaim your dividend? <laughs> where do you? <laughs> Sometimes, when you do some of this, I look at Nigeria, abracadabra. Eh? The more you look, the less you see. <laughs> I think somebody had to start uh, intelligently dealing with this issue, not the way. And also, when I look, at uh, the company itself. Please, a caution, warning. Don't tango with who? WHO. You know, don't go into, you want to go and make medicine for COVID or no whatever. So even countries, they've done it. What did they come after them. I so saw I watched some the, the professors who have made very good contribution. All the paperwork have been already taken away from circulation by this rule, whatever. Things you can go into, which I will encourage you, and sanitizer or any of this one, in collaboration with you, tell, so that they will say, but the moment they sign you on, that yours is a product they approve. Believe you me, we can go home and sleep. We have been making money. Because the fight here is who and whoever is promoting this uh, COVID-19. <laughs> so, yeah. so I think it will help us to deal with all this uh, dilemma. We'll go out of dilemma. I want to thank the MD for making the chairman to recognize me. First time you recognize me. I don't know. Me, I don't complain. <laughs> okay. Okay. Because natural, <laughs> naturally, I don't go to meeting and be struggling. Struggling that I want to talk. No. If I talk, I will talk. If I don't talk, I don't talk. Also, I want to thank the, not the chairman. I want to thank the company secretary. Yes. Eh? The, secretary, the company secretary is a born again secretary. So, <laughs> so, 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 I think I want to thank him that going on forward, we are friends.
worldly difference. And the company, I take delight in the company. Why? The MD who started the company started on a very good note. Give us don't lack. It's already the own uh, dividend policy. A lot of them be generous. Not that because you give 20 couple, you are not paying 15. No. Look at how he paid. That dividend policy had been very humane. I will continue to be, and God will only continue to bless you Amen. and the company. Thank you, so much. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Thank you. I really appreciate all the comments that have been made. Um, and we also take all the advice that has been given. And I can only support the comments made by the shareholders in terms of the performance of this management team. They have done extremely well during this year. Uh, if we relate it to what was done in 2018, this management team was able to improve the profit before tax by a whopping 415 million. Um, and it is, you know, the credit goes to the MD and his team. And I think on behalf of the board, I'd like to commend you all for a job well done. And on behalf of the shareholders too, I'd like to pass on this commendation to yourself. 2020 is likely to be a very challenging year, um, but the board, your board is also confident, cautiously confident, that given the commitment of the management team and the strategies that they've shared with us and the progress that they have made so far in the first half year, we have every reason to be optimistic that we'll be able to contain the challenges that 2020 will pose. We therefore look forward to a good 2020 on the back of 2019. Yeah. All the other comments we will also take on board uh, in terms of the opportunities that COVID provides and the focus of this business in terms of local manufacture will actually put us in a very good position to be able to leverage the opportunities that COVID provides to, to meet the needs and aspirations of our Nigerian uh, consumers. So rest assured that the MD and his team are doing a great job in terms of increasing the band of, bandwidth of local products that will be available during the course of the year. Well done. Thank you very much. We'll go on to item two, which is the declaration of dividend. I hereby move that the dividend of 15 cobol per 50 cobol ordinary share recommended by the directors and amounting to 225 million be and is hereby approved. Will a shareholder please rise and second the motion? Yeah, please, yes, okay. My name is Tunde Badmos. I rise to second the motion as moved by you. Thank you very much, Mr. Badmos. Would all those in favor of this motion please signify by raising the admission cards in their right hands? Thank you. I hope they've been counted. Yeah. Right. Would anyone objecting to this motion please signify by raising his or her admission Absent. card? Absent. Okay. The registrar should please announce the result. Thank you, sir. A combination of uh, shareholders present as well as those received by proxy is 406 shareholders and all of them voted for this resolution. There was no dissenting vote. Thank you very much. I therefore declare the motion carried. Now, item three on the agenda is a re-election of directors. Three directors, namely Mrs. Olufem Layo, O. Aibai, Mr. Olubenga Olayeye, and myself are to be re-elected following our retirement by rotation. Because I am involved, I would like the managing director to handle the business. Thank you very much, sir. Um, Mr. Chairman, uh, distinguished shareholders, I hereby move 
has delegated to me that Mrs. Olufumilola Uayebe be re-elected as a director of the company. Will someone please rise and second the motion? Yes. Uh, Mr. Boniface. I have a second the motion, Mr. Kizia Boniface, for Mrs. Ayebe to be elected as a director. Thank you very much, sir. Will all those in favor of this motion please signify by raising the admission card in your hands? I have moved. I'm He seconded. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Will anyone objecting to the motion please signify by raising up the admission card in your hands? Thank you, sir. Registrar, can you please um, announce the results? Thank you very much. I have confirmed that of the 406 shareholders voting that all voted in favor of this resolution, there was no, there was no vote against. Thank you very much, ma'am. I declare the motion unanimously carried. I'll go to the second person who appears um, on your screen to the right. Um, he is Mr. Ulubinka Olayeye, a non, sorry, an executive director, our sales and marketing director. Um, he also retires at this meeting by rotation and has offered himself for re-election. His profile is reflected in the published accounts. I hereby move. Observation. Yes, sir. I know this demand is an executive director. An executive director. Well, that's, that is what our articles, that is what our articles say. We, right, thank you. I hereby move that Mr. Olubwenga Olayiye be re-elected a director of the company. Will anyone please rise to second the motion? All right, since you are already upstanding, Baba. Aye, Olufemi. That's the problem with short people. Aye, Mr. Olufemi, do you hear me? Support that motion. Thank you very much, sir. Will all those in favor of this motion please signify by raising up their admission cards? Thank you very much. Will anyone objecting to this motion please signify by raising his or hand or admission card? Thank you. The registrar, please come forward um, and announce the results. Thank you. I hereby confirm that the 406 shareholders voting on this resolution voted in favor of the resolution. There was no dissenting vote. Thank you very much, ma'am. The third director that has offered himself for re-election is our Honorable Chairman, Mr. and he is here present, Mr. Shegu Adibanji. Like others, his profile is reflected in the published accounts. I hereby move that Mr. Shegun Adibanji be re-elected as a director of the company and as the chairman of the company. Can somebody please second the motion? Um, I would, okay, no, we'll call you again. Uh, Interim Chairman. My name is Mrs. Bakara Debisi Olu I second the motion. Thank you very much, Mrs. Uh, 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 Mr. Debisi Bakari. Will all those in favor of this motion please signify by raising up the admission cards? Thank you. And will anyone objecting to the motion please raise their hands or admission cards? Thank you. Registrar, can you please step forward to 
I'm announcing the results. Thank you. I hereby confirm that the 406 shareholders voting on this resolution voted 100% in favor of the resolution. Thank you very much. I declare the motion unanimously carried. I will now step down from my um, interim. <laughs> Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Andy. Thank yes, you. Thank you very much, shareholders. We appreciate your, conf your, your the vote of confidence, and we will continue to do the best we can to advance the cause of the business and the shareholder interest. Thank you. The next item on the agenda is item four which is to authorize the directors to fix the remuneration of the auditors. The auditors, Mrs. Deloitte and Touche, have acted as auditors to our satisfaction since their appointment last year. Under Section 357 of the Companies and Allied Matters Act, the retiring auditors are reappointed without any resolution being passed. Section 361 of the Act requires that their remuneration should be fixed by the company in general meeting or in such a manner as the company in general meeting may, de may determine. I hereby move that the directors be and are hereby authorized to fix the remuneration of the auditors for the financial year ended 31st December 20, ending 31st December 2020. Will someone please rise and second the motion? Madam, please. Thank you. Thank you very much. Will all those in favor of this motion please signify by raising up their admission cards in their right hands? Right. Would anyone objecting to this motion please signify by raising his or her admission card in his or her right hand? The registrars will please announce the uh, result. Thank you, sir. Um, I hereby confirm that uh, 406 shareholders voted unanimously for this resolution. Thank you. I therefore declare the motion carried unanimously. Thank you. Item number five is the election of members of the audit committee. In accordance with section 359 subsection 4 of the Companies and Allied Matters Act, Cap C20, Laws of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, 2004, our audit committee consists of three representatives of the shareholders and three directors. The directors have elected their representatives, and they are Mrs. O. O. Ayabai, Mrs. A. P. Sadauki, and Mr. E. E. Imwagene. You are to elect three representatives of the shareholders onto the audit committee in accordance with section 214 and section 359 subsection 5 of the Companies and Allied Matters Act, CAP C20, Laws of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, 20, 2004. Accordingly, the company secretary received in writing 21 days before the annual general meeting a total of 55 valid nominations. These 55 uh, nominations were received in accordance with section 359, subsection 5. Before this meeting, however, a total of 52 nominees withdrew their nominations, leaving only three, namely Chief Matthew Akinlade, FCA, Mr. Abdul Kabir Babatunde Sarumi, and Mr. Solomon Sunday Akisoya. They are the existing shareholder representatives on the statutory audit committee. May I now move that, the, that Chief Matthew Akilade, Mr. Abu Kabir Babatunde Sarumi, and Mr. Solomon Sunday Akisoya be and are hereby re-elected unopposed. Will someone please rise and second this motion? Oh, well, uh, the gentleman has his hand up. Uh, 
uh, it grew the Moses rise to second emotion. So thank you. Thank you very much. Will all those in favor of this motion please signify by raising up their admission cards in their right hands? Would anyone objecting to this motion please signify by raising his or her admission card in his or her right hand? The registrars will please announce the result. Okay, Today I therefore declare the motion unanimously carried. So consequently, Chief Matthew Akinlade, FCA, Mr. Abu Kabir, Papatunde Sarumi, and Mr. Akinsoya, Sunday Solomon, have been duly elected to join the director's nominations on the audit committee. Congratulations, sir. Item six on the agenda is the approval of director's remuneration. Because I am directly affected by this resolution, I would like the managing director to conduct the voting on this item. Managing director. Thank you very much uh, once again, sir. Um, I hereby move that the remuneration of the non-executive directors in respect of the financial year ending 31st December 2020. Uh, Company Secretary, can you announce the amount, please? 17, 17 million Naira. 17 million Naira, which is exactly what it has been for the past four or five years. We haven't increased it because you, because you refuse to increase it. I move that 17 uh, million naira be approved as remuneration for the non-executive directors. Will someone please second the motion? Mr. Boniface, please, or uh, Dr. Boniface? I write to second that motion. Okay, Thank you very much, sir. Will all those in favor of this motion please signify by raising up their admission cards? Thank you very much. Will anyone objecting to this motion please signify by raising their admission cards? No, no, <laughs> Registrar, please step forward to announce the results. I hereby confirm that 406 shareholders voted 100% in favor of this resolution. Thank you very much, ma'am. The chairman will now again resume conducting. Uh, sorry, I, I, um, I declare the motion unanimously carried. Thank you, MD. Thank you. We now come to the next item on the agenda, which is to alter our alt articles of association to allow for virtual meetings of the board. I hereby move that a new Article 38 of the Articles of Association of the Company B and is hereby inserted to read as follows. A meeting of the board of directors may be held by conference call, video call, or other digital or electronic means. A director shall be entitled to participate in a board meeting by any digi digital or electronic means, and where a director so participates, he shall be counted for the purposes of determining whether a quorum has been formed and for determining the outcome of any vote taken at the meeting. Will someone please rise and second this motion? Yes, yes please. No, the gentleman in the blue here. Okay. Uh, I, Femi Ujemi, support that motion. Thank you very much. Will all those in favor of this motion please signify by raising up their admission cards in their right hands? Thank you. Would anyone objecting to this motion please signify by raising his or her admission card in his or her right hand? 
the registrars will please announce the results. Thank you. I confirm that 100% of shareholders voting at this meeting voted unanimously for this resolution. Thank you very much. I therefore declare the motion carried unanimously. Item number eight is the renewal of mandate on recurrent transactions with related parties. I hereby move that pursuant to the provisions of paragraph six of the Nigerian Stock Exchange rules governing transactions with related parties or interested parties or persons, the mandate given to the directors to enter into recurrent transactions with related parties be renewed. Will someone please second the motion by raising the admission card in his or her right hand? No, I have the gentleman at the very back. Yeah. Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Dayo Adeshinyo. I second the motion. Thank you. Thank you very much. Will all those in favor of this motion please signify by raising up the admission cards? Will anyone object to this motion please signify by raising his or her admission card? No. Right. The registrars will now you know, announce the result. Thank you. I confirm that 406 shareholders voting on this resolution voted 100% for the resolution. Thank you very much. I declare the motion carried unanimously. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this concludes the business of this year's annual general meeting. On behalf of the board, I thank you for attending this meeting and showing so much interest in your company's affairs. May I call on Mr. Moses Ebrugwe? to please say the, the, the closing prayers. Shall we all rise? Amen. Oh, Father God, the creator of heaven and earth, the doer of all things, we thank you for this very day. Because you have given us an idea and they have manifested to this point. We have concluded another year of 21st of this year, and it's under your guidance. Father, we thank you. Father, we glorify you. I ask today that you that have start, brought the idea, manifested it to this point, you continue to guide and give us the wisdom, the management board and everybody who is concerned about this company to manifest this to your glory in Jesus' name. Amen. As we are going to our various destination, guide, protect us, and lead us home safely. Amen. In Jesus' name I pray. Thank you. Amen.